You might have noticed that the Earth's annual jaunt around the Sun is not a perfect circle. If you're really observant, you might have even discovered that most celestial bodies floating around out there are on elliptical orbits around whatever provides gravitational influence. So what's going on here? The universe seems to like keeping things simple whenever possible, so why all these highfalutin ovals instead of old-fashioned, god-fearing circles? As you might expect, answering that requires some explanation. There are four main types of celestial body orbits, and I'll run through them quickly. Okay, for these explanations, and for the rest of the video, let's say that the orbiting object is always going to be object A, and the focal object, or the one being orbited, is always going to be object B. Got it? A over here, B over here. Alright. A hyperbolic orbit means that object A is either moving too quickly or it's too far away to get trapped by object B's gravity, but it is still influenced by object B's gravity. So it's basically a one-time interaction, and not really an orbit. Object A's trajectory gets bent by object B's gravity, but they never encounter each other again. There are endless millions of these happening in the universe every single second. Voyager 1 accelerated before leaving the solar system by entering into a hyperbolic orbit around Jupiter, which redirected the lonely little spacecraft and gave it a large speed boost. A spiral orbit is when object A has a very low velocity, or a small enough mass to get completely trapped by object B's gravity. Each lap around object B drags object A a little bit closer until it finally impacts object B and is destroyed. There are oodles of these happening right this second too. An elliptic orbit is one where there's a relatively stable but slightly tilted balance between object A's velocity and orbital distance and object B's influence of gravity. A longer and more eccentric elliptical orbit means that object A's distance and velocity is slightly overwhelming object B's gravity. A shorter and fatter ellipse means that the scale is tilted toward object B's gravitational influence. Piece of cake, right? Totally clear. No? No. Maybe you need an example. Let's compare the orbit of, uh, I don't know. Halley's Comet, with that of a relatively unknown planet called Earth. They're both elliptical, but Earth's orbit is a relatively short, fat oval, while Halley is long and very eccentric. The Earth is thousands of times more massive than Halley, so this planet is much more heavily influenced by the Sun's gravity. And Halley has more than twice the velocity of Earth in space, at 70.5 km per second, versus our comparatively sluggish 30 km per second. Halley's elliptical orbit is so shallow and long that it's pretty close to just flying out of the solar system at its furthest point from the Sun, and that is a possible outcome in a few hundred thousand years as Halley shrinks a little bit with every lap. As it loses mass, the Sun's gravitational influence drops, and Halley might just make a break for it. Anyway, the bottom line there is that Halley is small and fast, and it isn't as influenced by the Sun's gravity, so it has a very eccentric elliptical orbit. The Earth is large and slow, with a heavy solar gravity influence, and its orbit is short and fat. Okay, all of that needed to be said so that we could finally get to the circular orbits. Yes, they can exist, and they do, but they're very, very rare. It's because the balance would have to be perfect. Object A would have to have a mass, velocity, and distance from object B that precisely matches object B's gravitational influence. Then you'd have a circle, but it probably wouldn't last very long, at least on a universal timescale. If the mass of either object A or B naturally changed for any reason, or if another object randomly flew past and used its own gravity to change the balance by even a small margin, you'd wind up with yet another stupid elliptical orbit. So there you go. That's why a vast majority of stable orbits are elliptical. Even in a universe full of more bodies than you and everyone you know could count in a hundred lifetimes, it's just really rare to find two objects with a perfect combination of distance, velocity, and mass to create that satisfyingly circular orbit. If you like this video, share it before you do anything else. Then, like and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.